everybody has a money story. And it usually has to do with the role that money or lack of money played in your family. Your money story is also shaped by the money messages that you consistently received when you were young. Have you ever thought about this? What is your money story? In some families, it's not talked about. We just don't talk about money in this family, right? It's true. And in other families, that's all they talk about. Oh, we don't have this, we don't have that, we need more money, why don't you... It's like, it really shapes your psyche on the money subject. Are you aware of your own money story? Why is it that some people come out of college saying, I'm going to make as much money as I possibly can, I'm going to be the richest, and other people say, I don't really care about money. What I want to do is X. It all depends on their money story. You need to know your money story because all your financial decisions will be impacted by your inner perceptions or your money story. What's your current attitude about money? Maybe the story you came out of your family with has shifted and evolved over the years so that you now have a current money story that might be slightly different than before. You need to be consciously aware of this whole way that you hold money, the topic of money, because it's going to impact your retirement and the finances in your retirement. For example, if you have dreams of doing worldwide travel in retirement or buying an expensive yacht, that's fine. But that's very, very different from someone who says, well, we're going to downsize, we're going to live a simple life, we're going to you know, do a lot of hiking in our area, and we're going to volunteer a lot at the local church or synagogue. Okay, that's fine. But which is it? How is this going to affect your pocketbook and your savings? Some people want a big vacation home. Some people would never want to have another home to worry about. Everybody has their own priorities. But in any case, I'm advising you to build your own financial board of advisors. Everyone needs to have their own financial board of advisors. It's more important as you move into retirement, I think, perhaps than any other phase of your life. So what is a financial board of advisors? Your financial board of advisors includes your financial planner slash retirement financial advisor. That's one. Second is your accountant. Third is your estate attorney. And fourth is your insurance expert. You need to surround yourself with these people. Moreover, you have to like them and work with them on a regular basis. You have to get them all working together as a team. You need to introduce them, meet with them as a group, whether it's in person or by uh, Skype or perhaps Zoom, and have them on the same page working together like a group of coordinated experts. It's not optional. I'm saying you don't work with them if they won't agree to work collaboratively with your other advisors. That's my point. And when you hire them, you say to them, I expect that you will do this and this and work with this guy and this gal. Will you do that? If they say, no, we don't do that here, and say, thank you, goodbye. <laughs> and if they say, of course, we do that all the time, then the answer is, okay, great. Where do I sign? So these people have to be on board with the idea of collaborating and working as a team. Having a will is nice, but that's only one small piece of the puzzle. You need an estate attorney to cover all the different relevant aspects and to discuss with you how that ties in to your financial picture and your insurance picture and all the rest. It all needs to be integrated. It needs to be a team effort. When you have this team together, when it's working properly, it creates a financial peace of mind. It makes your financial planning an integral part of your overall retirement vision. And I'll even add another expert, which is related to insurance, but that's a Medicare consultant. You know, when you get to the age of Medicare, you don't just go on a website, sign in your name, and boom, you're in Medicare. 
there's a zillion questions, there's a million considerations, there's all kinds of complicating factors that can truly mess you up if you're not 100% clear and educated and up to date. There's a whole industry which has sprung up, which is Medicare consultants, Medicare experts, who help you navigate through all these questions when you get to the age of 64. So it's not as simple as they would want you to think by looking at TV commercials. It's very, very complicated. And you can seriously mess yourself up if you don't look at this and get expert guidance. The American College of Financial Services recently surveyed more than 1,200 people ages 60 to 75. Nearly 75% failed a quiz designed to evaluate their ability to make their nest eggs last through retirement. Respondents were overconfident about their financial literacy and only 1% scored an A on a basic quiz. That says a lot. That tells you a lot about the lack of awareness, the lack of education, the lack of exposure in our society. So if you haven't done so already, you really do need to meet with a financial planner who specializes in retirement cash flow planning. Not your average everyday financial broker who sells you stocks. I'm talking about one who really has a specialty in, 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 in planning your financial future vis-a-vis -vis retirement and retirement cash flow planning. It's a very different discipline. So there's the accumulation stage and now you're in the decumulation stage. There's a different mindset. It requires a different kind of expertise, different tools, different knowledge, different experience. So, you know, I don't want to badmouth any companies, but some of the biggest financial companies out there who you know their names have no expertise and no ability to help you with retirement cash flow. They'll say they can, they pretend they know what they're, but they don't. So just go in with your eyes open, ask tough questions, and make sure you're getting the help from the right people.